Hello everybody and welcome back to The Daily Deal. We're here playing Don't Starve Again. We kind of had a choice of which game to return to. Uh, I, I was quite tempted to go to Scarlet Blade. Uh, oh gosh. It would have been good, but the thing is, I think the main thing a lot of people wanted to see were the mechs on that. And frankly, um, that was a lot of grinding to get there. So yeah, we're going to do Don't Starve instead. Uh, because this is a game since uh, we filmed that video. I, I kind of put it to the side and then a friend of mine was like, hey, I got this game. And then he kept talking to me about it and I've ended up playing this for a long time. I think my, my total hours on Steam now are, are like 15 hours. I've been having a hey, lot of fun on it. That's pretty good. Yeah, man, it's, it's pretty good. So I'm going to show you guys my save file uh, and kind of what's going on. Um, and just before we jump in though, uh, I'll show you guys that we've got different characters. So last time we only really had the first character, who's the gentleman scientist Wilson. Uh, whose only ability is that he grows a beard, which is helpful in the game. Uh, but there's also all these other characters too. <laughs> what a what? The beard is useful? Yeah, yeah, because as winter comes, if you've got a really long beard, you can, uh, like, it'll help keep you warm. Which is cool. And also you can shave it off and craft something to like make a meat effigy, like a meat version of you, which can save you from death. Wow. So yeah. He's a decoy. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I don't actually know how it works because like I played him my first time and I've not gone back to him. Uh, yeah, secondly, the second character you unlock is the fire starter. Uh, and she won't take any damage from fires. And then if you're caught alone in the dark, she'll start a quick fire at her feet. Uh, that can keep you in the light for a short period of time, which is quite cool. Then you have Wolfgang. This guy is a badass. This is who I've played pretty much all of my ge like my games on. He's amazing. The strong man. He's just so OP. Okay, listen to this. He has higher health. He has a bigger stomach, which means like it takes him longer he to get. He won't starve. Yeah, he he like takes longer to 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 starve, which is the whole premise of the game. Well, the name of the game at least. Right. And, and he, he hits harder. He hits harder as well. Like wow. it's it's very very good. He's very good. Uh, after you've played with him, though, you can unlock the bereaved Ab uh, Wendy. She's, wow. She's got a really weird ability, right? Where at night a ghost sometimes spawns, <laughs> and that's of her sister. Yeah, and and it will fight things for you, which is interesting. But after I'd played as him. Wow. After I'd played as him and I was like, oh, I'm never getting hungry anymore. I played as her and then I was getting hungry again and I was like, oh, no, this, this sucks. So I've got that empty to... socket look, just that empty. Yeah. Look. Yeah. Like just no pupils in her eyes. <laughs> then you have the robot who is the solar Auton. Uh, we, we don't have to go through all this stuff. But basically he uh, he can eat spoiling food. And then there's the librarian who I've not played, but she gets a bonus tech level, which I think might mean that you can like craft new stuff. She's the last character you unlock in typical survival mode. And then there's two more that you can unlock in adventure mode, I believe. Um, but I've got no idea how to do that because I've still not played adventure mode because there's just so much to this game, man. There's it's, so much. It it seems like uh, Courage the Cowardly Dog needs to be a character in this game. <laughs> yeah. It has, like, the same art style. Yeah, dude. And there's, like, roads to nowhere and stuff in this and everything. It fits so perfectly. So, anyway, we're going to go into uh, my current survival character. I made j hit this guy just for this video, um, mainly because I've never really made it that far in the game, I've got to be honest. Uh, but, yeah, we are currently on day 14. Uh, Look at that mustache. Yes. How manly is that? Yes. Yes, exactly. What do you think of my base, by the way? And and you have flowers on your head with a mustache. Yeah, that works. Yeah, Yeah. well, works. these help me stop going insane, so I may look like a prat, but I look pretty, you know, it, 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 <laughs> it makes me feel good about myself, I guess. Um, this is my base. Uh, basically, I think bees are amazing in this game. Um, so here you can see I've got a bunch of bee boxes with loads of flowers around them. And the idea here is that up until winter comes, I need to stockpile lots of food. Um, because when winter arrives, like, you, you get cold very quickly, so you can't go far away from fires and things. And it just generally gets really hostile and dangerous. So you kind of want to start stockpiling food. Um, and don't worry if I'm stood about, guys, when I know I should be doing stuff. I've kind of given myself about a day's leeway to explain stuff at first. Um, so basically, I've got all these bee boxes, uh, which I can harvest from. And the bees will get mad at me and try and kill me, but I can run away and uh in general be pretty safe and as you can see there i got three honey um i've kind of just like started this stage where i can harvest these things to uh really have the, the honey flowing in but if you open this chest got lots of the golden stuff already in here uh, seven of it so far but that all ramp up and basically my idea is i have seven more days until winter comes and i'm just going to grab lots and lots and lots of honey until then uh, and i'll show you where i oh so what does the honey do 
Uh, well, the honey, you literally, you just eat. So it's going to be sitting about in my oh. chest. The reason why honey's really nice is because it doesn't spoil for a really long time. So, uh -huh. like, you can't just explore the world and just grab berries and berries and berries and berries and berries and fill your inventory with berries and then just be done with it. Because berries spoil quite quickly. And there's, like, a lot of mechanics that hide in the background on this game. Like... When you're in summer, food spoils quicker, which is, you know, that's intuitive. That's what happens in real life, and that's what's happening here, too. And berries in particular are a food that kind of restore a lot of your health, but also they spoil quickly. So you can't do that kind of thing. But honey, honey lasts a long time. And I found all of these beehives, which if you've been playing the game, you'll know this is like a lot of beehives. Um, Jeez. Yeah. So I just kind of ran around here grabbing bees and then grabbing butterflies. and Because basically you need butterflies. You need What's up with all the flowers? I've never seen all these flowers before. Yeah, well, the, flowers everywhere. Yeah, the, the the bee fields basically the bees kind of protect uh, butterflies, and then the butterflies make uh, like flowers essentially in this game. So if you catch loads of butterflies with bug catching nets and then place them next to your own bee boxes, you can build up all of these flowers, and then with the flowers you can then run off. Um, and make lots of honey much quicker. So kind of all 14 days has just been me preparing those beehives to get honey rolling in for winter. Uh, but I'm not fully ready to... Oh my god, what is going on over here? Wow, I've actually never seen this. What the heck is what, that? Is what that the, a, what is, is that? Is that a jar head? Is, he has a jar as a head? I, I actually have no it, idea what... Or is that a light bulb? That's a light bulb. Dude, what the hell is this? You go up to it and say hi. <laughs> oh, oh! Did he just throw a bee at me? Did he just throw a bee oh, at me? Oh, he's hopping. He's hopping. He um, wants some. I could try. Oh, wow. Him. So, oh, uh, he has I've just whiskers. unequipped my backpack. I've equipped my log suit and a, and a spear. Well, I can see how it goes. I don't want to die. No, 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 no. Because no. I've spent, I've spent <laughs> hours and hours and hours making this file to show you guys stuff. If I die in the first couple of seconds, not only will I be upset, I've lost all of my beehives, but also we're not going to have a video on our hands. So we'll leave it for now. But what the hell what is, is that it? on the floor? Oh, wow. It's a horse. Dude, this is Can crazy. you ride it? You can ride it, dude. You can totally ride I it. I can't. The option it's is to attack. The option oh, is to nah, attack. Nah, nah, it's fine. Uh, maybe I can kill this thing. Ooh, how much did he hit me for? No, do, run away. Run away. He hit you for a lot. Uh, did he? Okay. All right, I'll leave it. Yeah, your heart is broken. It's Yeah, it was already up. quite low, though. Like, there's a big thing about the game that kind of took me by surprise, and that's that you're not always at max health. Like, I don't know. Just so many games you kind of expect to be at max health, and as it gets low, then, like, this is kind of critical danger right now, you'd expect. But actually, it's, it's kind of not in Don't Starve. You've, it's a, it's a very long-term mechanic in this game, your, your health. Like, that will really slowly go back huh. up as I eat food, as the days roll by. Roll by. Like, uh, berry... And different foods have got different values. Some restore lots of your health, while others restore lots of your hunger, and, you know, you can get middle grounds and stuff. Like carrots in the game. If you cook carrots, I've realized carrots give you lots of health and not so much hunger. But uh, berries give you loads of hunger and barely any health. So, oh, speak of the devil, you've got a carrot here. So, you know, there's, there, there's stuff like that. But, you know, I generally am not too worried about my health being at about 56. When winter comes, um, you're, it will start. You're mentioning winter, though. If you're mentioning that means Santa comes? <laughs> there is a Santa kind of character in the game. <laughs> Um, you gotta be kidding me. No, but he's not he's not he's not like regular Santa. Like there's this weird thing. I don't know whether it's like a French thing or a German thing. Ho, ho, but there, there's there's like a character where were you just were you just laughing like Santa? Did you just ho ho ho? <laughs> Did you just does ho, he, ho, does ho, he, ho Does he say that and roll down like next to your house? That that's that's that'll be just weird. Does he leave your presents? Um, no. Imagine this game, he won't be leaving you presents, or the presents you want. Anyway. Presents of the evil kind. No, he <laughs> makes you... I'm just kind of wandering around. I do have a goal here, but I'm just kind of pissing about at the moment. Um, no, he's, he's like, he's from... He's not from, like, our folklore or whatever. He's from, like, German or French or something folklore. Where basically oh he's not Santa Claus, but he's this, this other thing. Like, this crumple, I think he's called. And, like, where Santa gives you nice presents at Christmas, this guy's supposed to give you bad presents. And, like, he carries children off in sacks at christmas like i, I shit you not. i think you, i've heard of that i if, think i've heard of that before yeah right yeah. And, yeah, and, yeah. and that's the the character that's in this uh you can like get him to spawn if you kill loads of butterflies or kill loads of pigs like basically do naughty actions oh oh so oh so he comes to get you because you're a naughty boy 
Basically, yes. But then in like a bizarre twist of events, it's kind of you want him to come so that you can kill him to farm him for stuff. Can I just be sure I can make a fire? Yes, I can. Um, so it, 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 he's kind of an interesting thing. I've not really played with too much because I don't really run around killing butterflies and things. I only know about it because I was like reading the wiki. Um, like a lot like this game's weird because I don't know if you remember on our first video I mentioned the kind of a lot of fun of the game comes from not knowing what's going to happen right and I still kind of stand by the, that but at the same time I've never had so much fun reading a wiki for a game I swear to god like you bumble about you don't really know what's going on for ages and ages and ages and then finally you read the wiki and it's like it, it just opens up a whole new world and there's like a million different things you realize that are going on with the game all at so once. you find out what happened with Maxwell and everything uh, well I, that's the thing like the game's so big I still don't know fully what goes on in adventure mode in particular I know that Maxwell's the guy at the start I know that you can play as him and that playing as him restores your insanity levels but I don't kind of know much more beyond that so I don't know kind of take it or leave it what exactly is gonna happen with Maxwell um, there's Do you actually get a pot though to cook because you mean I mean you're just putting the berries inside of the fire like it's okay Yeah, I don't know. There's a there, there is a crock pot in the game But I've not really been playing with it that much like uh, I kind of feel like honey for example doesn't need to be cooked at all and because I've spent so much time playing around with just uh with the honey rather than anything else like I don't really find myself cooking that much or if I do is when I'm at a campfire like this and I'm just kind of cooking stuff that I've scavenged so yeah I've not really used a crock pot but they're kind of complicated and they can make some weird recipes like I think some of the best food in the game you have to use a crock pot for like there's these weird little like uh, mandrake creatures that look a bit like carrots and like only four will ever spawn in your entire world. They're ridiculously rare. And I found one and they've got all these crazy different abilities. Like if you harvest one at night, it won't die, but it will follow you around and be your friend and fight stuff with you. But like, oh, so it... you can have pets in this game. Yeah, you can you can have pets like there's a there's a kind of a really standard pet you can get, which is this chest that follows you around and it starts following you when you just run across this like eye on a stick out in the wilderness but this this character i haven't found him on yet so you can't like capture birds or anything like that and put them in a cage or anything like that uh yeah <laughs> yes you can actually yeah there's um it's a bit like the crock pot there's this thing where you can uh like grab a bird and look at all these bees seriously oh my god oh my god okay i need to stop i need to stop and explain pit to people what, what i'm doing okay so basically i just explored this whole area here okay Are, um, aren't you gonna die no 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 gain, gain, the game pauses while you're in the map uh, okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah no it's cool the game pauses the game also pauses when you hit escape too so these are nice ways to like what i quite like to do is a bit of a cheat is if i've just got home and i feel really strapped for time you can pause it and you can see what all your items are and know wh what you want to put into chests and where stuff is. Like, if it's the middle of the night and you desperately need, like, a weapon or something. Or if you're about to die, for example, there's an, there's an item in the game called an amulet, which I once dug out of a grave. And that will save your life. So, like, just before I died, you can hit escape and then just find it and equip it and stuff. So you can kind of cheat by doing that. But anyway, look. We just explored over here. Because winter's coming, I'm set for food, as I've explained with these beehives. And actually, right. since we're so close to home, I can show you it again. Um, because they'll probably be full up again. But we need to we need some stuff to keep ourselves warm. Another risk uh, at winter is there's this walrus camp here. And that's going to be a problem. Because when winter comes, like enemies will spawn out of that. And they're really close to my home. And I don't know whether I'm going to die when that happens. Because that's how I died on a previous character. But we'll see. So yeah, look at all this honey. These were all empty before. Mm. So I can grab these. And they didn't actually manage to hit me. You can like equip... Well, you you are a bear of a man. Oh, wow, that, that hat thing. Yeah, yeah, you can equip a beekeeper's hat and you can equip like a log suit. And basically by doing that, bees don't do any damage to you at all. Uh, um. I think they might do a tiny bit, but like I am a master beekeeper, dude. I am so good at this. Like, and you can oh. just reap so much honey. Was that a bear or a pig? Back off. <laughs> this guy over here, this was a pig. <laughs> Back this was off. Big... Oh, dude, he didn't kill my friend, did he? Okay, so another thing as well, when you're dig like digging these trees, I had all this cool stuff to show you guys, right? Because when you dig trees, dig trees, when you cut down trees, you've got like a 1% chance that the tree will come to life and be very mad at you because you're like hacking into it. And 
that happened to me on a tree that was right here, like where this, this stinger is. Like, I was deforesting this whole area, and then a tree came to life and, like, chased me out of my own home for ages. And then I realized on the wiki that they're, like, neutral to you after a while. And he kept fighting that pig over there and kept giving me lots of food. So, like, this was the perfect place to just live. Like, I could stockpile honey. Your, your health. Your, your health. Oh, yeah, is... shit. Okay, wow. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's very long. <laughs> oh, this is what happens to me. Oh, my God. It's... Okay. I've got so um... much to explain. I have a problem, Matt. I really do. <laughs> I've just got, like, all this I want to tell you. I'm like, I'm like, um, your health is... You're about to die, and did they break your armor? Is that yeah, what happened? Yeah, yeah, they broke my beekeeping hat because I'd been using it for a long time. Basically, I caught all of these bees with that one hat, so it was only a matter of time before it ran out. Uh, uh, I do have, like, an opulent pickaxe here, too, though, by the way, which was something else we never played with, which is, like... Uh, oh, you, so you do get better tools, then? Yeah, yeah, it, it only goes up to gold. Like, you can craft it if you wish. It's really worth it, though, because these have so much more durability than anything else that I found. Like, it's they're incredible. They really are. Um, so look, we have food for winter, but we need to keep warm at winter. So this video, I was hoping to explain mechanics to you guys while off on a bit of an adventure trying to find what are called beefalo. Uh, and beefalo are these, like, giant creatures that live on a certain type of biome. Uh, and you can sneak up to them in the middle of the night and shave them. Like, they're really hard to kill. Like, really hard. So you can't kill them for their, their, their fur. But you can Whoa! But you what? You sneak up? To yeah. them at night and you shave them. Yeah, and it's terrifying because the only way you can move around, and I'm talking about the dead of night, not sunset, the dead of night. And it's terrifying because the only way that you can do that is uh, by, like, carrying a torch in your hand that's slowly ticking down and expiring. So you've got to, like, make a base camp somewhere safe, sneak up to them, shave them, and they'll wake up when you do it and they'll start attacking you in the dead of night. And then you've got to grab the fur and run before your torch runs out. It's the most terrifying thing in the world but you kind of got to do it if you want to be able to keep warm in the winter um there are other ways though there's like a, a heat rock that you can grab and other various things i've just found something a dapper vest what the hell is this oh it's so so there's so what about the spiders that you're right next to like uh do they get bigger too um well? yeah actually hold on we're on day 15. spider queen coming out i will to eat you i will show you Oh gosh. So here, oh gosh. two have come at us. It's fine, it's fine. It's only two spiders. So with a log suit and a spear, which is an attacking weapon, it'll be fine. Like, the way... Uh, okay, a bit of advice to people. There you go, there's a big spider there. Can you see him? Can you see uh, that guy? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Those spiders leap as well. I need my backpack back. This wasn't good. This isn't good. I need my backpack. Oh, backpack, oh backpack, dude. Backpack, backpack. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, my health is so low, though. Okay. Wait. Yeah, it is. Even it is. Oh, he's right there. Oh, my God. Okay. No, we're good. He seems a little angry. A little pissed off. So... Uh, a bit of advice to you guys, the best thing to do when you start playing is just slay spiders. Because spiders over time, their nests grow bigger and bigger and more dangerous spiders start coming out. And eventually, like, a spider queen will spawn and, like, just start devastating you and just, it's, it's horrible. So if you kill them all really early, you can get yourself lots- Ah, oh, and here's the pig king! Whoa! This this is awesome. Except on this fire, I don't really have anything to give it. Is so this guy, there's like no NPCs really in the game. They're like the pig people. They're the closest you get. And uh, you'll sometimes find a pig king too. And this guy you it's can train Pumba, stuff dude. with. It's Pumba, dude. It's Pumba. It's Pumba, yeah. You okay. let himself go a bit. but <laughs> You can trade with Pumba like... Like, you can dig in graves and find, like, a bottle rocket, for example, and just all this weird stuff. And you can trade it for him for gold. So, like, literally gold stones. There's these as well, which, as I explained before, uh... Convert. Um, okay. Is that an altar? Do you have to sacrifice something on there or something? Yeah, no, 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 no. If you, if you activate these, these, this is another way to resurrect yourself. But if you die uh... and resurrect it, it, it will, like, you'll come out insane. That's what I was talking More about piggies. again last episode, so... Yeah, you can see that for sure. But so, sorry, go on. I'm yeah. Uh, it, all right. Other than that, like, what shouldn't you do in the beginning of the game? Like, is there like tips? Um, like, if I were to start, what shouldn't I do in the beginning of the game? It depends. First of all, you need to know exactly what you want to go for, 
and then you just need to work on that goal like straight away like for example with me for my first like four characters or so i was really kind of dumb because i was just running around harvesting flowers in fields all the time and your sanity starts off full it's kind of funny because like maxwell's like hey pal you don't look so good and then when you've been playing the game long enough kind of you look at your health bars and stuff and they're all at max at the start and you're like no i think i'm looking pretty damn good uh, but yeah, like I, w I would just waste so much time harvesting flowers and A, it was a waste of time and B, I'm not sure flowers kind of respawn either unless you're like using butterflies and that's really dangerous because if you've got a camp in an area where there's no flowers at all uh, and then you like go insane for whatever reason later on like way later in the game Then you're gonna have to go really far away to find flowers and that got me killed in the winter once because it was just like freezing cold, cold tundra and just I got owned basically um, because oh, it was a matter of stay at home and go insane or go miles and miles and miles away looking desperately t for flowers in a blizzard um, which is like such a ridiculous <laughs> idea but you know that's how it goes um, so I got a stale garland there so other than this world is there like more worlds like I remember Maxwell's world oh like... yeah yeah so up in the top right again oh man we can go back to all these old things this is so good so up in the top right if you hover over it says world one I've not done this yet, but this is another little thing I figured out on the wiki. Yeah, I, like you can find these weird items in the game. Like you can find this this ring, you can find like a box, you can find these gears, just all kinds of odd stuff, right? And if you find four of those items, you can combine them together in like this special way and create a portal to another world. And I have no idea what that means. Like I really have no idea. But I'm guessing that's kind of what your goal is after winter's come and gone, maybe. And then you're gonna progress to like world two, and then you'll be like day one in world two. And maybe it will strip you of all your items, but there'll be new enemies or something there. But this type of game makes me think. It's just like okay, uh, this is a uh, indie developer making this game, and it's ten bucks. When yeah. I used to spend like sixty bucks on a game. Yeah. Yeah, you know, like, and then I'm like, I could get so much fill from just this game. Like, Dude. especially stuff like Minecraft. It's like, oh, wow, I could get so much fill yeah. just from 10 bucks. It's, it's crazy because, like, uh, so much time goes by. Like, we're 16 days in. This is at least two hours at the bare minimum of play. And I feel like I'm only just starting this character. I've only just kind of got my farm up and running. I'm only just getting into the meat. And you can customize the experience with the world map, uh, like the world farm? and stuff. What type of farms? Well, the bee farm is what I'm calling it at the moment. Like, with my bee farm, with the, with the wall around it and all the bee boxes. But you can make other farms and stuff, too. Um... There's all these different ways that you can try and survive. Like, uh, you can try and craft a fishing rod and then go fishing in, like, the marshland swamps or... Um, I mean, this kind of whole hunter-gatherer thing, which you see me doing right now, isn't right. so good uh, all the time. But, you know, um, especially in winter, like, because you're always going to need fires and stuff. But, you know, th this kind of stuff is viable, like... But yeah, I mean, we're so far in, like, uh, on 16 days in terms of hours, and uh, there's still so much, so much left. Like, I haven't even began to see Adventure Mode. And they keep updating it with so many things as well, like, weird little updates they do. Like, there's this thing you can do, okay, for a lot of the magic items and stuff in the game, you need this stuff called Nightmare Fuel, which you can only ever really get when you're insane. You go insane and, like, shadows <laughs> start to attack you and bunnies start to look crazy. So, like, you can do all this weird stuff with, like, farming bunnies in, in chests while you're insane so that you can get a certain wow. item. Like, it's got some crazy depth there, dude. But on the surface, what am I doing? I'm running around, basically. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm doing this video. For the record, Beefalo can appear in this kind of biome, this kind of savannah type looking area. So I'm going to go back and see whether we can... So they added death for you going insi insane as well. So they added some, some, some mechanics for that. That's, that's pretty cool, yeah. I gotta say. Yeah, like, there's so much you contend with. Uh, it's, like, and you get used to the fact that you're always safe with fire. Like, you've got a fire and it's fine. But when you start going insane, these kind of shadowy claws start grasping out at you in the dead of night. And they'll actually start putting out your fire. So you've got to start, like, walking over them. to, uh, And it's, it's terrifying. It really is. And there's these hounds as well that attack you every few days. And eventually, like, they start setting stuff on fire. And if you're not prepared... Um, or, or you're low like I was earlier then that can just spell the end of you and you've got no way of escaping uh, it's it's a fascinating experience it really is uh, but yeah oh gosh
Uh, I don't really know where we should end the video. I wanted to find some beefalo and show you me shaving them. This has just been me ranting <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> For about 20 minutes. This, this is crazy. It's, it's a great game, though. Seriously, guys, we're returning to this because this is like really captured me. This is so, so much fun. Uh, I cannot recommend this enough. I, seriously, it's, it's a great game. Whoa, what's that? Uh, what's oh, that? this is a ring thing. So look, ring thing. Yes. This is one of the things we need eventually to scavenge from the wilderness to be able to escape and go to world two. And he says, oh. I will bend into perfect circle. <laughs> He's pretty stupid. So yeah, there's other stuff too, like how the flavor text changes depending on like what character you are. And there's like all these kind of underlying theories that fans have got about how this is taking place on purgatory because like you can find gravestones out in the world and like if you examine them every now and then like, your character will be like, hey, that grave's got my name on it. And it's like dun 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 and uh, like there's all these hints that it's dropping that you could be in purgatory. And like this, this girl wow. with like her sister that dies and becomes a ghost and stuff. That would make sense. And Maxwell's the devil, right? Something. Like that. I don't know. <laughs> does does the devil ever visit purgatory? I don't know. I actually read Dante's uh, Inferno when I was in college, but I've just forgotten so much. Uh, I was so cultured at one point in my life, and now I've just like forgotten any kind of academic stuff. Anyway, I don't know. Should we end it there? Is yeah, there anything? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're getting a little long. Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching, guys. This is Don't Starve, and we'll see you next time. Later. Um, there'll be a link in the description. Seriously, I forgot last time, but there will be a link in the description if you want to check this game out. Lots of fun. Uh, yeah, you make me want to dive deeper into this as well. Oh, because you can go deep. You really can go deep. Oh, well, how deep? Yeah. <laughs>